Capricorn, hey, what's going on? How are you? My name is Antoine, and I want to welcome you or welcome you back to the House of Luminance. Capricorn, let's go ahead and jump right on into the love energy that could be surrounding you whenever, the, whenever it is that you're guided to this message. This energy is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or maybe someone who's connected to a Capricorn and you're here watching. This could be for you as well. These messages are general, y'all, okay? And they could connect to a possible past, present, or future love situation. So just take it as it resonates. And if it's not your message, then maybe just come back later, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. Capricorn, what's going on for you? All right. So the central energy you have, Capricorn, is puppy love. All right. And then under the deck, you have connection. Mm -hmm. All right. So Capricorn, we have connection and then we have puppy love. So listen, Capricorn, I do feel that for many of you, you are making a connection with someone that very early on you felt where you wanted to just be loyal to this person. Very early on, you were giving this person or you both were giving each other uh, just a lot of affection and um a lot of attention okay capricorn um even if um it it's like even if it wasn't necessarily like something that had a title on it yet okay um the two of you were just in this undeniable connection with one another um and the, and and that we can't it's like you can't deny that there was something there Okay. And it was pure. It felt pure. This might have been a sign back in the past for some of you Capricorns where, you know, you were younger or the both of you were younger. Okay. And you guys made this connection and it just could have never went anywhere just for whatever reason. Um, or this could just be where, you know, you're a little bit older now or this is someone that you're connecting to now. Or someone you may be connecting to later in the future where you just don't necessarily have a title for what it is that you guys are doing. It's just it's just an undeniable connection that feels right. Okay? So either one of those. Well, we'll go ahead and clarify Let's see what's going on with the energy now. Okay. So we have the Empress here, Capricorn. Okay. So with the Empress coming out here right at the crown, Capricorn, I feel like it's easy for you to imagine um, the ways in which like your life can grow with this person. Or if this was someone in the past, then it was just easy for you to see how um, things could have played out with you. Um, um, listen, there's a message here that's coming through where maybe some of you, um, maybe some, maybe some of you got pregnant really young and, um, yeah, okay, some, okay, I'm not gonna, okay. All right, I'm, I'm going to say it. Maybe some of you got pregnant really young. Um, and then, you know, the connection just didn't happen because you were young. And maybe there was some sort of separation that, you know, that that happened as a result of you getting pregnant young. Um, but for others of you, that won't be everybody's message. But for others of you, I feel like we're at Capricorn with this person and the connection that you've made. Like you're able to see growth with them. You're able to see where things can be very fruitful with them. Um, and vice versa. All right. We have the Five of Cups energy here, Capricorn. Yeah, I definitely strongly feel like in the past there was a situation that just did not work out. Um, and it was a quite, it was quite a messy situation. And yes, many of you did leave the situation with, you know, um, you know, with, 
I'm just going to plainly say it. Some of you left the situation still having to have love, even though you were dealing with a messy, uh, a messy like separation. Okay. If this was something in the past, you guys could be reconnecting again. All right. But with this two of cups here behind this person, I feel like you were you were still left with something to love or something to look after, even though maybe there was some sort of like messy breakup or messy um, separation. Um, especially if this involves you having children with someone in the past when you were young. Okay. The chariot. Wow. Let me tell you honestly what I feel, Capricorn. I feel like this is a reconnection of that. And I feel like once you are back in this person's view and once they're back in y'all, like once y'all are back on each other's radar, I get this energy where it's like things begin to like pick up again um, how they did before. Okay. Um, and the connection again moves forward, almost like no time has passed, even though maybe a lot of time has passed, maybe five years has passed. Okay. But the chariot here does indicate that this connection does have the opportunity to truly go somewhere this time. Okay. The Hierophant. Huh. <laughs> okay, so Capricorn, yeah, I feel like now the both of you are just, even though you're older, right? And again, we have a five and a five now. So, like, it's like y'all are older. So, you know, you've kind of come more into um, your own autonomy. That's kind of what I'm seeing here with the Hierophant. It's like you've come into your own autonomy. You can make your own decisions. You're old enough to make your own decisions about your life and what you want to do with it and how you choose to live it. Okay. And now that you're back, now that you're in that position, I feel like you're more inclined to make this connection that didn't work out before for whatever reasons, possibly because you were really young, you're able to make that work now. Okay. Um, at the very least, right. This, I feel like this person if this is someone, if this is someone that you had kid that you had a kid with in the past when you were really young, I feel like this person is very, very much able to uh, co-parent with you now. Okay, um, and I don't even feel like the reasons why they even left you behind or that y'all didn't work out or separated. Like I don't even feel like the reason was anything more of of their fault. It's like you both were young, you know. And you both had people telling you, well, no, this is what you should do. And I'm not saying that it's right, but it's just how it ended up. Yeah. Now we have another, another five. So five, five, and then five. So Capricorn, yeah. So there were definitely like a lot of changes that happened in this situation in the past. Okay. And it did leave you feel, leave you feeling isolated. It left you feeling um, very much, you know, disappointed, hurt, broken. Okay. But the Hierophant does let me know that you built yourself stronger from that. I do feel as well. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and continue to clarify. And I'll just put that over there just for the back. I would have shuffled it back into the deck, but I just do feel like it's just integral. Like it's, and I need it to be there for me to continue to say what I'm having to say. Because I do feel like Capricorn, like throughout any disappointment that you felt from the situation, okay, that there still is a conversation to be had here. And it may not be, you know, the most exciting conversation. Um, it may be about the past and the hurt and the trauma, you know, um, but that's still at the end, you know, there's still this connection between you that is undeniable and that is going to overpower it. That's what's going to end up winning. Okay. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. So just with time, I feel like things have changed. Maybe your heart has changed. Um, their heart has changed. Okay. The situation has changed. All right. 
Um, and this person, I feel like, has come back around to you, okay? Especially, like, maybe if you're watching this through, like, a Mercury retrograde, I feel like this could be for you as well. But this person has come back to you to reconcile with you, to heal, um, to heal whatever was broken from the past with you, to heal the disappointment with you, you know, like, to, to, to fix that, okay? They've been, they, 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 they want to fix it. Okay. This person could have been dealing with certain things in their past, maybe depression, substance abuse, maybe someone around them, especially if y'all were really young at the time. They they could have been they they may have felt like they had a bigger responsibility to someone in to someone else. Um like whether it was a, a mother or a father that was dealing with some sort of uh addiction possibly like maybe they felt like they had a bigger responsibility to that or it could have been their own addictions okay or their own their, their own things that kept them bound all right in capricorn i feel like this person has turned that around so whatever they were dealing with they're not dealing with that anymore okay 10 of pentacles beautiful so now we got 555 five, five, and 10 10 <laughs> Yeah, Capricorn, this person really is interested in just healing the past and making sure that, um, honestly, making sure that the, this is like so sweet, like the family that this person created with you in the past, this person wants to make sure that you and that person are secure for the rest of your lives, okay? This person recognizes that they probably never, that, you know, that y'all never should have had to break up. But again, like I said, y'all were really young. And this person is wanting to come back in to take care of you and to take care of what y'all created together. And the same love that this person had for you then, they have for you now. It's just more <laughs> mature um, and adult. Okay, now we have the Ten of Wands, 10, 10, 10. Okay, Capricorn, the burdens that you've had to experience over the past maybe five to 10 years, especially if it has to do with you raising a family on your own or raising a child on your own, I feel like that burden is soon coming to an end. I'm not saying, the, 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 you know, when this person comes back, I feel like there are going to be a lot of difficult feelings that arise. You may feel upset even to a degree. But this person is coming to you with pure intentions. And they love you and you still love them. Or you still feel connected to them. And I just, I don't know, I, I feel like this is really specifically, I feel like this is a specific message for those of you who had a kid really young with someone and then that person and you had to separate because people who are in authority of y'all made y'all separate. Look at there, the son. Look at that baby. Look at that happy baby. <laughs> Look at that happy baby. Okay. Capricorn, this person is intended to be honest with you. Like I said, they want to operate with pure pureness of their soul with you. This person wants to be honest with you for sure. And they want to make sure that if there is a child involved here, they want to make sure that um, things happen in the best interest of the child. Okay. Yes. Yes. King of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So Capricorn, if you haven't already been hearing communication from someone they are going to be communicating to you very soon, okay? Um, you may not like what they have to say at first, <laughs> um, or you may just, it may take you just by surprise, right? So it's just like, you know, you're not really paying too much attention to it, but I feel like they will still continue to communicate with you enough to the point to where the both of you will begin to have communication back and forth. 
And this person does want to, like I said, just settle things from the past and move forward with you now. And they also want to, again, take care of what they helped bring forward into this life with you. Okay? And this person has matured now into a very, very fine individual here. Male, female, or otherwise. It doesn't matter. But this person has matured into a very, very fine individual. Okay? A very responsible individual. And all they want to do now, Capricorn, is take care of you and take care of y'all's family. So, I don't know. Will you give the will you give them the opportunity to? Let me know in the comment box below. I want to thank y'all so much for your time. I truly appreciate it. Hit the like, share, subscribe button, and all that good stuff. And I'll hopefully we'll see y'all in the next message. So bye.